The Senkaku Islands are inherently Japanese territory. I want to show my strong determination to prevent this from changing. But I think there is a widespread opinion that the support system for athletes should be more firmly established. We aim to achieve general progress in relations between North Korea and Japan. Efforts to ease regulations and reform the nation's tax system have helped put this self-sustaining recovery on track. The numbers prove our policies have not been wrong. It is important to explain fully to the local areas with sincerity. We will also think, of course, about the development promotion of the communities. I have to express sympathy from the bottom of my heart to those people who were taken as wartime comfort women. As a human being, I would like to express my sympathies, and also as Prime Minister of Japan I need to apologize to them. I promise to protect Japan's land and sea, and the lives of the Japanese people no matter what. I have experienced failure as a politician and for that very reason, I am ready to give everything for Japan. My basic notion regarding the matter of historical recognition is basically, it's a matter that should be left to the good hands of historians and experts. I did learn from many mistakes. First and foremost, I learned that it is important to create a wide base of support within the LDP. Informing the cabinet this time, I included almost all the members of the LDP whom I ran against during the party election for president. Also, as a result of the lessons I learned, this time my policy priorities have become very clear. This would include first and foremost restoring a robust economy. I believe this has resulted in the strong support that I am getting from the people. It has been more than 60 years since the constitution was put in place. There are provisions in the constitution that no longer suit the times. Since the constitution was promulgated, we've seen the emergence of new values, such as privacy, the environment and so on, which need to be incorporated. In Japan, usually, once you become prime minister, you do not have a second chance. Probably the reason why that was not the case this time is because Japan is facing an increasingly challenging situation. It is my belief that politicians should not be stepping into the realm of history. Rather, politicians should be taking a future-oriented perspective. In a world that is deepening its mutual interdependence, inward-focused thinking is no longer able to safeguard the peace of Japan. We will fully defend the lives and assets of our nationals as well as our territory, territorial waters, and territorial airspace in a resolute manner. I am a patriot. I would think there are no politicians who are not patriots. Since I am a politician, I often get criticized, as I try to exercise what I believe to be right. However, if you mind such criticism, I think you can't protect people's lives. I try to exercise in nature, and I try to play golf once a month. The last time I played golf with my wife, however, she got better scores than me, which became an additional source of stress. In the last five years I used to go to Zen practice once a month, but since I assumed the post of Prime Minister it's been much harder. 
The future of Japan's economic growth depends on us having the willpower and the courage to sail without hesitation onto the rough seas of global competition. I paid a visit to Yasukuni Shrine to pray for the souls of those who had fought for the country and made ultimate sacrifices. I have made a pledge never to wage war again, that we must build a world that is free from the sufferings of the devastation of war. For China to continue to enjoy economic prosperity, it needs to foster trusting international relationships, not tensions, and it is important for China to understand this. Our predecessors overcame many troubles and much suffering, but each time got back up stronger than before. It has been believed for a long time in Japan that things such as the constitution can never be changed. I say we should change our constitution now. The US has amended its constitution six times but Japan has done it zero times. The sluggish economy is creating a situation where the young people in Japan cannot cherish their desires or have prospects for their future. Also, the decline in Japan's economic capability is resulting in a declining presence for Japan's foreign policy as well. Accordingly, the duties and mission that I must fulfill are pretty clear, namely, to regain a strong and robust economy, and also to restore Japan's strong foreign policy capability. The Japan U.S. Alliance is an irreplaceable alliance. And I would like to further consolidate and broaden that alliance. The visits Prime Minister Koizumi made to the Yasukuni Shrine, I believe, had nothing to do with approval ratings. He paid respects at the Yasukuni Shrine to pay respects to the people of Japan who fought and lost their lives for the country and to pray for the peace of their souls. During the Koizumi administration, I served as the Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary as well as the Chief Cabinet Secretary. I believe it is important that we Japanese write a constitution for ourselves that would reflect the shape of the country we consider desirable in the 21st century. Japan will change. Let's create a country where innovation is constantly happening giving birth to new industries to lead the world. When I visit Silicon Valley I want to think about how we can take Silicon Valley's ways and make them work in Japan. We need to be very careful when considering whether or not to change the constitution to accept same-sex marriage as this issue touches on the fundamentals of how we live. The United States has renewed our leadership in the Asia-Pacific, Prime Minister Abe is leading Japan to a new role on the world stage.